Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and in this video I am going to teach you how to export files from your vCarb software into SVG, PDF, DXF, AI, and EPS. I don't know what the last two are, but you know they're there, so I just do it. And I'm going to show you how to import it and what to look for once you import it. So we're going to dive into vCarve and show you a welcome sign that I made and we're going to walk through that entire process. Now before I get started I want to talk about a comment or a question that uh, one of the people who watches this channel asked. His name is Jeff. He asked can vCarve be used offline? So Vectric vCarve is a direct purchase software. It is not tied to the internet where if you don't have internet connection, you can't use it. So when you buy it and you download it, it's yours. You can uh, carry it all around with you and do work when you don't have internet. So Jeff, I hope that answers your question. So let's dive into VCAR. We're gonna talk about creating vector files that you can export and how you can import vector files. So let's go. Okay, we are in vCarve. This is vCarve Desktop. And you can see I have a pretty welcome sign here. I created this months ago, and it was a lot of fun finding the font that really was nice, creating the framework around it, and importing swirls from bitmaps and connecting them into the sign. So it ended up looking really nice. And before we dive into this, I'm just going to show you the sign as it's created. So we're going to go over to 3D toolpaths or the toolpaths area. And I'm just going to run all the toolpaths on this. So I'm going to click uh, run toolpaths and we are going to view preview all toolpaths. So I probably have to pretty this up just a little bit. Now you see the colors popping in there. That's one of the nice little features of vCarve. And I'll take that out. And there it is. And by the way, if you want this vector, I have it for sale on Etsy. A link will be down in the description. A very nice welcome sign. As far as that orange color, I imported that in there for clarity's sake. So you can see lots of pretty detail in this. And this is one of my favorite projects. And actually one of my friends, her name is Tasha. She said, you got to make these things and sell them. So I'm going to do that. Uh, however, the file, like I said, is available on Etsy. This is not a file that I give away in my website. And by the way, if you want free files, then down below is also a link to get on my list where you can get to the private web page that has free file downloads and the words that sell list. A list of about 50 to 60 words, the most popular words that you can make on your CNC router or CNC laser, plasma cutter, and sell them. So you want to get that list. Down below is the link to do that, uh, to get hold of that. Okay, let's uh, get on to this DXF stuff. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to switch back to our design area. So you have a project that you've completed. And this is it, the welcome sign. So we have saved the project right here. We're just going to save it. And it's already saved as a welcome sign. Now we're going to set it up for export into these different file formats. It's very easy. So what you'll do is you'll come up to File, click that and come down to export. And under export are several selections. You have EPS, DXF, AI, SVG, PDF. Now the ones that most people use are DXF, SVG, and PDF. EPS and AI, I don't know what those are. I'm going to assume maybe a 3D printer, who knows. But what you'll do is you'll pick the first one that you want. So we're going to export a DXF file. So we're going to click that. And you can see it highlighted everything on the image. And then we come into our, uh, it's going to pop up where do you want to save it at. So I'm going to save this as, we'll say, uh, welcome training. If I can spell it right, training, okay. And I'm going to say save. And you will do the same for other things. So we're going to do this for a couple more. We're going to export to an SVG file. And we're going to name it the same thing. Um, 
welcome training. And I'm going to save that. Uh, let's see, we're going to save this as, uh, um, blah, 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 we'll just say welcome training to one. There we go. <clears throat> and now we're going to do one more. We're going to save it as a PDF. And we're going to export. And it's going to give me the option to what I want to name it. So we'll call it welcome training. And say okay. So, okay, so now you know how to export, you know where your file is at. So now I'm going to create a new file. So I'm just going to come, I can either go up to File and hit New, or I can come to this first icon right here, which is Create a New File. And we're going to do that, and the first thing that's going to come up is our, our job setup. So everything is already set up. We're going to click OK, and I'm going to import. So I'm going to go to File, Import, and we're going to Import Vectors. So it's going to open up to that directory, and we're going to file the, find the file, Welcome Training, and we're going to open up the DXF file. So that's clicked, Open, and it imports the file. Now, one thing you'll notice is the file, the original one, was a little bit higher on the work surface. This one imported it a little bit lower down. And so a couple things I want you to see. The first thing it did when you're doing this type of file import with the, um, oh, what was that uh, file type? Um, I forgot. Sorry about the little brain fart. Um, that was a DXF file. It imported layers. So these are all the layers that were in the original file, with the exception of layer 0. So let's see what layer 0 is. There's nothing on layer 0. The little light bulb next to each layer, if you turn it on and off, it will just turn on and off and go away. So you can see there, just like that. And it imported in the various ways. And then you'll have to doctor this up and work with it a little bit. We're not going to save that. And I'm going to say OK. And we're going to import an SVG. So we're going to import vector. And we are going to do welcome training. Um, blah, 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 blah. Where is it? Uh, sorry about that. OK, let's bring in the PDF. While the computer's thinking, it has brought in everything there again, and it's done it the same way. Now, here's a little interesting thing. When it imported the PDF, nothing's connected. So, you're going to have to run around and connect all of your nodes. So, I would have to go shift, select that line, and then come over here to join vectors and click that so that becomes one vector and it only created one layer now when you open up vcarve it automatically creates layer one and when you when i imported the pdf it brought it in on a new layer so i can turn the entire layer off if i want to and start doing other work now you notice when i turned it off it turned red up here and that's because layer import is the selected layer right now. If I went and selected layer one, that red would go away, and I am now working on layer one. So when I switch and I click that layer, that's the layer you'd be drawing on. Okay, so now we are going to import the SVG file. So again, I'm going to create a new file, click a new file, and I'm not gonna save that. It's gonna import the my last settings. I'm just going to click OK, and I'm going to click Open, Import, Import Vectors, and your SVG file is this guy right here. The sea green, blue looking kind of ocean feel icon, which I really like. I use really big icons because my eyesight's not so good anymore. But I'm going to click that and Import, 
and here's our welcome sign again and so let's take a look let's see what kind of layers are brought in so it brought in the three layers that are created uh, layer one which is uh, I'm assuming that was the original layer that was already in the file I didn't check that but we have frame we have welcome and we have swirl so everything is there everything's on the layers and let's just check our lines and everything is connected the way we want it to which is awesome and amazing and so there you have it we know how to import vectors so if you purchase vectors like this welcome sign off of etsy then you'll get it in like this and then you just doctor it up by creating your tool paths that you want let's see if it created a tool path when it imported so there are no tool paths right so you'll have to actually come in and create those tool paths which is good that gives you full control so again if you like this welcome sign which is pretty cool i think i really enjoyed designing this the link is down below to get it off of Etsy. Like the video if this was helpful and leave a comment. I would certainly appreciate anything you want to know about vCarve or any other software. I will figure it out. And uh, I teach about CNC routers for beginners. All the stuff you need to know that gets you up and running quickly. As well as tutorials for vCarve and entrepreneurialism. If you want to turn your CNC machine into a business. Whether it's a CNC router, CNC plasma cutter, CNC laser, milling machine. Uh, I love entrepreneurialism, and I love teaching people how to become entrepreneurs. So links are down below. You can subscribe for those kind of videos, or you can get on the uh, email list. That'll get you words, free files, and all that good stuff. So this is Garrett. I hope you have an awesome day.